Hello there. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use SharePoint site templates. I'm Alex from Doc365. Do you know why SharePoint site templates are considered highly potential? Imagine if you are assigned a task related to planning an event. The event planning team site template helps you to get started with the process with your team quickly. Similarly, you have templates related to project management, training, team collaboration, crisis management, and more. These templates come with custom web parts and automatically populated content specifically generated to help you get started with the process easily. You can further customize the page designs and elements, web parts, etc., to make it fit your requirements too. Let us see how to apply these templates to a site. So I'm in one of my communication sites called DM Brainstorming. Uh, let's see how to apply a site template into this. The templates are available for a communication site and a team site in SharePoint as a slightly different. So we will see uh, both the options. So I'm in my communication site homepage right now. So to change the site template, all you need is to click on the settings icon at the top right corner and choose apply a site template. So here you will see all the temp site template options provided by uh, Microsoft. As you can see, there is a crisis management department, leadership connection, learning central, showcase topic blank, as well as a new employee onboarding uh, option. So each of these templates have uh, different characteristics, uh, design elements, etc. So uh, you can read the description uh, provided to understand uh, their functionalities and what they are specialized in. And at the top, you can see these are default templates provided by Microsoft. And there is also a tab here, uh, which says from your organization. Uh, we haven't customized or provided anything officially. So if any organization want to customize or provide a template for uh, the use of their employees, uh, they can do that. Uh, if you wish to do some ranting to the template, etc. Um, it, there is an option too. So uh, let me just show you how to apply a template here. So I'm going to choose a template from here. Uh, I would like to choose the template uh, topic. Uh, it is actually uh, designed to engage viewers with informative content like news and events. So communication sites are actually uh, used for uh, sharing information and uh, other data um, to users. So this one, uh, just click on details and it, it shows you a little more uh, elaborate description. So it says uh, the site capabilities are highlights, news and announcements. Uh, you can promote upcoming events using this template. There's also a surface related content and resources. So these are uh, the specialities of this template. All you need is to just click use template. So this is a preview of how the site looks after this. So yeah, you can scroll down too so that you can see other elements. All you need is to just click on use template option. Click on it and yeah. So the template is getting applied right now. So once it is 100% complete, it will take you to the site and shows how it looks now. So this is how it looks. So the content I already had in this uh, site is actually uh, used in some of these uh, web parts to the news, the news posts, which I have already posted to the site. These are some of the uh, older news posts. So this is how the site now looks. So this is pretty decent and it helps you to change the overall look and feel of the uh, site pretty quickly. So let's now see how, uh, how are the options, what are the options provided for a uh, 
team site sharepoint team site the marketing update site is one of my team sites sharepoint sites um, let's go to the settings option and click on apply a site template so here you can see there are five site templates provided uh, event planning project management training and courses training and development team and also team collaboration team collaboration is the current uh, site template i have, I have applied here this is it uh, i'm not a very uh, fan of this template so let's choose another one uh, i would like to choose uh, the template project management so it says collaborate with your team to share project details and resources this is perfect for um, coordinating a project and uh, tracking the overall progress well these are the site capabilities it can highlight frequently used resources share team news and announcements display status in the work progress tracker list monitor issues using the issue tracker list, use the pre-built status report page template, etc. And uh, moreover, uh, the existing pages, libraries, and lists can be still be accessed in site content. So that's a good advantage too. So I am applying this template by clicking on the use template button over here. So the template is getting applied. And once it is 100% complete, we can see how it looks. Let's uh, wait for some time. Yeah, it is now applied completely. And this is how the project template looks. Some of the folders here, the folders in the documental library are new. Uh, but it's, it is good because these are some of the basic uh, data or the type of uh, folders we used to have in most of the project management portal. So uh, it helps you to get started quickly. There is also a, a countdown timer here. So you can customize all these options. Uh, all you need is to um, take this page to the side to the edit more by clicking on the edit option. And you can configure all the web parts provided here so that's pretty simple that's how you can get started with site templates in sharepoint online uh, start customizing and experimenting with these templates and let us know the progress and what you find uh, we are sure you can make things uh, amazing and create better results with it uh, good luck with all your innovations uh, have a great day